Squid on guys, hope you're all well. Uh, I have been asked to actually do a video on how the hell I got EasyDoc to work with P3D version 3, and this is not going to be a fun video. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about something that took me hours, and a good guy who actually helped me out with it was a guy called Matt Davies. I'll put his channel in the description. He helped me out as well. He gave me some links and stuff to get it working. Uh, since then, however, EasyDoc has been updated to actually work with P3D. Now, I think it's for P3D version 3, it might be for version 2, but you you know, you get it to work with uh, version 3 somehow. I managed to get it working. To be honest, this is all I did. Uh, I contacted Matt Davies, um, he gave me a few links and what have you, but since then, as I said, uh, 19th, 19th of March 2015, uh, there is a link here that I will put in the description for this, this particular page that I'm looking at right now, and it tells you basically what you need, because it took me absolutely ages. It also has some uh, download links for the uh, the beta version because it's a, it's actually a beta. It's not like a stable version. It's still a beta that uh, that myself and many other people uh, are using for P3D version three. So I'll put the link in the description for this. And the other little tweak that I did that I found the only way to make it work was to uh, run P3D as an administrator and. By running it as an administrator, I mean literally right-click, go to properties, and uh, select that. Not only in the easy cam as well, you need to do that in the easy dock thing, uh, but also you need to do this in P3D for the P3D uh, EXE. Make sure you click change settings for all users and change it in there. And that is how I got it to work. It miraculously started. It recognizes it in P3D as an add-on now. That is all I know. That is literally all I know. Um, I wish I could give you some more information on this because it really is, it's been absolutely, this question has been asked to death on the forums, it's been, you know, covered so many times in so many different tutorials out there and it's so difficult to follow because I found myself following one tutorial and I didn't have a, a P3D 2.5 uh, installation or version 2 at all, uh, I just literally purchased uh, P3D version 3 and most of these tutorials were saying that you needed files from 2.5 so I searched and searched and searched and in the end I contacted Matt Davies and he uh, he pointed me in the direction of a few links and what have you and most of these links now can be found on this particular page that I'll put in the description so I hope it helps if you do have any issues uh, I will put an email address in the description of this video because it, I prefer to contact people through email for support because uh, YouTube doesn't allow you to sort of uh, you know, add attachments and links and stuff like that. So it is Mr. Yorkie's world at aol.co.uk. If you want to contact me, I'll put that in the description. I think that's the email address. I'll put it in the description. Uh, also, if you remember on Patreon, you'll get uh, a high priority of support as well. So if you want to uh, feel like, if you feel like, you know, upgrading and stuff, you can support me on Patreon. And uh, in return, you will get uh, this sort of, this level of advice and, and support and wherever you're in, even more in depth. So I hope this helped. As I said, it's a really, really frustrating problem that loads of people have got. So I'll put this link in the description. I'll put the email address in the description. Uh, Matt Davies says, uh, channel link will be in the description as well if you feel like contacting him because he's a really helpful guy and also remember to go into your c program files or wherever your easy cam is installed easy doc is installed right click the easy doc exe make sure you go to compatibility change settings for all users run that as the administrator and also do the same thing in your p3d directory for the p3d exe and that's the only way that i managed to get it to work i've no idea if that's the correct method uh, you may also have to install this new SimConnect version, which will come with the beta when you download it. Install that as well, just to be sure, because you can never be too careful. And obviously, you don't want things to be running, um, you know, the wrong way or, or, or sort of like corrupting something. And, you know, I, I don't know. It could do the, the amount of stuff that's out there. The possibilities these days is unbelievable with this easy dock. It's such a mess. But uh, I hope this video helped. If it did, leave me a like comment if you have any questions but preferably contact me through email if you have any questions because i can respond a hell of a lot quicker and a hell of a lot easier it just saves a lot of time i don't check my youtube messages very often so uh, email is probably better so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed hope this helped a few people and i will see you in the next one bye for now